Barkley you welcome back to our channel the video that you're about to see is taken from my live Friday night show which I host every week at 7 p.m over on Facebook tonight I'm so excited to share with you our beautiful emerald collection now emerald of course is the birthstone for May and we'll be delving into a little bit of the history and the folklore behind this wonderful gemstone let's listen in Chesterfield and it's Friday night. Woo! Hi everybody. Happy Friday. It's lovely to have your company on this beautiful Friday evening in May. Our first live show of May. How exciting. And yesterday if we'd have done a live show it would have felt like May. <laughs> Today not so much. Uh, here in Derbyshire anyway, I don't know what the weather's like where you are. We've had, it's been mild today, it's not been cold, but it's been a sort of a bit drizzly um, this evening. And I, you saw my video um, oh, two nights ago now, three nights ago. I was sitting in the garden, it was 10 o'clock and it was lovely and it was still mild. And not today, that's not going to happen, is it? So I hope you've got nicer weather where you are. But regardless, it is May. So tonight we're going to talk all about May's birthstone, which is fabulous emerald. And I'm very excited to show you some emerald rings that I've got tonight. And I thought that we'd pair them with some of the vintage style diamond rings. Um, do you remember I showed you a while back, I think, when they were a new collection? So it was quite a while back now. And I thought we'd sort of team those with the emeralds and see how they look so do let me know if you're watching along it's lovely as always to have your company i'd be interested as well to know i was just looking um i get before if you've done a live uh, video on facebook before then you'll know if you haven't then before you go live you get lots of different things and do you want to do this and do you want to do that and no normally because it's me i go no 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 because i am um, i need to go straight live because it's Two minutes to seven or two minutes past seven tonight or nine minutes past seven good grief i'm running behind but one of the things um that facebook asked me today which i didn't have time to do but i might do depending on what you think is um notify people by messenger so i know sometimes a couple of you forget if you forget to set your oven time <laughs> you forget perhaps that it's time for the friday night live so my question to you is would you like a reminder i'm always a bit um, I'm always a bit wary because when we comment and when we chat to each other on here, it's very general, isn't it? And you can comment and I can answer back and it comes up in the comments. Messenger just feels that little bit more personal. And I know that we've got groups in Messenger and, and that kind of thing now. So it's, you know, it, it kind of is becoming more general. But let me know what you think. I'd be really interested to know. So effectively, I think what would happen is when I, I'm going live, then you'd get a little ping in your Messenger um, app and it would say, um, oh God, not here again or something similar. You know, it would say Adorn, Julius Chesterfield is going live and then it would remind you. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. And if it, uh, if we get a lot of, you know, you that would say, yeah, that's cool. Because I don't know how you feel about having me in your inbox. I don't know whether that would be a bit too, you know what I mean? A little bit too personal. Um, Hi to Linda, happy Friday. Lovely to have your company. Linda says, forget never. Oh, thank you. You're so lovely. Happy Friday to Kathleen. Lovely to have your company tonight. And happy sparkly Friday to Sarah as well. It's lovely to have your company. It is sparkle time. Hurrah. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I'm always a little bit more reticent on uh, social media because I don't want to I never want to feel like I'm bombarding you with things I always sort of feel you know um, you know where I am and if you want to come and join in that's fine if you don't then that doesn't matter but I also know from brands that I follow is occasionally I f if I don't see them for a little while then I forget about the brand and then I go oh yeah I remember about that now so yeah, swings and roundabouts, let me know what you think. So we're gonna have emeralds tonight, which is very exciting. Becky says, happy bank holiday Friday. Happy bank holiday Friday to you as well. What are your plans for the weekend? Have you got some time off everybody? Or are you working? What are you doing? It's gonna be quite a nice weekend. Oh, I should whisper that, shouldn't I? I should whisper that it's gonna be quite a nice weekend just in case the weather hears and changes its mind. But apparently it's gonna be quite mild. It's gonna be nice on Sunday. So 
that's very exciting. I'll be popping out um, with the puppies on Sunday and we'll go for a nice walk. Our Sunday walk, which will be lovely. Linda says, I belong to a group using WhatsApp where I get notifications for lives. Oh, that's interesting. Messenger could work just as well, I think. Oh, thank you, Linda. Yeah, that's a good um, a good thing. It's good on WhatsApp as well, isn't it? Because you can, you can um, mute your notifications, can't you, if you want to? So you can stay in the group and... Oh, that's interesting thank you i should give that some consideration definitely yeah i always like to check with you um largely because i know that you'll all be honest with me and you'll say if you think that's just an awful idea then you'll say because you know me well enough and that's fine let me show you some emeralds so emerald is the birthstone for may have we got any may birthdays in the group i was trying to remember earlier i know we had um quite a few earlier in the year so we've had quite a few but I can't remember if there are any May birthdays let me know if you're a May birthday oh if you can hear Moriarty in the background by the way it has been Friday night noughties from the moment we got in the sprouts been out and that's been squeaking and they've been having a um, you know a big old scrap they've got a new thing now where they have um, a small fight after they've eaten a play fight so they eat their food and then have a fight and then go to sleep so he's <laughs> yeah i mean why not you know maybe we should all try that this is the first emerald i've got for you tonight wendy says late today catching up now wendy don't worry me too i was late today yeah i don't know i was um i was all ready until i wasn't and i tell you what i had to do as well i had to um pinch the wicks out of my candles do you remember me telling you a while ago that I always forget not to do that and clearly it's going to make a mess of my hands and then I'm going to touch this beautiful jewellery but I got to lighting them and a couple of them my scented candles I yeah I needed to just just pinch the wicks and then I went oh, I'm covered now so I had to go and get changed so don't worry don't worry not get changed go and wash my hands Linda says hope it's good on Sunday going to a son and daughter in laws for a late lunch barbecue oh that sounds nice good plan oh yeah fingers crossed Becky says we've just begun a week off yes oh amazing artisan market in bowls over tomorrow I'll walk down for food and drinkies be rude not to it would it is almost the law on bank holiday when you've got to have got to have some drinks definitely hi to Georgina happy Fridays lovely to have your company tonight and um, Linda says beautiful emerald thank you Linda She's gorgeous isn't she so a lot of the emeralds that I'm going to show you tonight are very much art deco inspired now Adam we did try and change his nickname didn't we because he is a big emerald fan and a lot of the emeralds that you'll see tonight Adam has actually chosen because they're one of his favorite gemstones and we tried and he was thrilled that he thought his nickname was going to change from Mr Sparkles to Mr Emerald but sadly not to be a lot of you got in touch and said no no he's Mr Sparkles that's how it is now and uh who was it yesterday Oh, Caroline, uh, our shop neighbour at Twelfth Craft says, <laughs> says, I love the nickname Mr Sparkles, but it does sound like a hamster. So <laughs> Adam had mixed feelings about that, very mixed feelings. So a lot of these are in that deco style and we're both big fans of the art deco style. You can see this one's got an oval emerald in the centre, that really beautiful green and then tapered baguette diamonds and these are a gorgeous way to add that art deco touch to any piece of jewelry baguette diamonds emerald cut diamonds of course or emerald cut emeralds and tapered baguettes as they are here and the baguette cut very similar to the emerald cut but it's got a, a kind of a blunter corner to it and it's not got as many facets you're going to test my knowledge now on how many facets a baguette cut has got I think it's around 40 although I'd have to check and an emerald cut is around 50 there or thereabouts but that so that's the main difference but they both kind of give that art deco feel and you can see those diamonds are sparkling away in there natural diamonds in there and that gorgeous emerald in the center as well oval 18 karat white gold this one and the price is £1,975, 
She's um, a finger size M, M for marvellous. But this one we can make to your size. So that would not be a problem. Of course, you can come in and measure yourself up perfectly. Or if you're further afield, then I can send you out one of our ring sizes and you'll be able to measure yourself at home as well. So don't worry about that. Emerald 45 points. So there's 100 points in a carrot. And this emerald is 45 points and the diamonds are 17 points, although very, very cleverly cut because they look a lot bigger, I think. Wendy says, love emeralds. Joe says, hi, Sparklies. Are you closed on Monday, Laura Jo? Jo, we are, but happy to come in if you're um, in town and you want to pop in for a browse. That's no problem. Just text me. Let me know a time that's good for you and I'll be there. So don't worry. I might be popping in myself on Monday. So although we're not officially open... So definitely worth if you're in town, either swinging past or if you want to come in for a browse. And I always say there's no obligation to buy. Just, you know, you can come in for a browse. Just text me, give me a time and I'll be there. I'll come and see you. Yes, it's always lovely to see you. So 18 karat white gold then and emerald and diamond. And those tapered, very, very clever baguettes making the diamonds look bigger than they are. Now, carrot for carrot, emerald is actually a rarer gemstone than diamonds. And because she's so difficult gemstone to work with, she can actually be more expensive as well, carrot for carrot, for than diamonds. So a beautiful, rare gemstone with a fascinating history. The uh, first emerald mine was in Egypt and Cleopatra claimed that mine for her own. She's long associated with emeralds. Beautiful, beautiful green. And they come in lots of different shades of green, but only green. So we've chatted about other gemstones, haven't we? Um, sapphires are a good example that come in lots of different colours. And the only colour sapphire doesn't come in is red. Well done if you remembered that, because a red sapphire is a ruby. They're part of the same family. But emeralds, just green. And absolutely beautiful green they are too. We've got quite a few different greens tonight, but they're all really nice and deep, the rings that I'm going to show you tonight, which is very fabulous. Leslie says, lovely colour. Thank you, Leslie. It's gorgeous, isn't it, this one? Really nice deep green. I just love that. Nice and comfy to wear as well. A tapered side there, up to the tapered baguette. And nice and comfortable on your finger now we're going to see that one again a little bit later when I try it with one of these vintage style bands to see how it would look worn together but now let me show you another art deco style now she is a teeny tiny size she's not gonna go on she's a size L um, I rem I was a size L I was an L for Laura L for lovely for many many years and now I'm a size O O for Owen for my surname. So that's quite helpful. Easy to remember for Adam as well. So we've got that gorgeous green colour again there. And we've got those tapered baguettes slightly smaller in this ring. And still just as sparkly. Emeralds are quite a clever gemstone as well because they're a little bit more dense. They also look bigger than a diamond of the same carrot weight so if you had a, a carrot worth of diamond a carrot worth of emerald often the emerald will look bigger so it's sort of an optical illusion if you like so that's always a nice thing to have and although they are a little bit more fragile than diamonds so if a diamond is um, when we talk about the most scale of hardness so diamond is at the top and diamonds are 10 Emeralds are going to sit about a six on the most scale. They're all thereabouts. So they are fairly soft. They need a little bit more care and attention. It's why I don't particularly recommend them as engagement rings. So I have made emerald engagement rings, but under the sort of warning sounds too strong, but under the guidance that they aren't as robust as a diamond ring. So diamond rings, you know, you can occasionally just oh, catch them and they're fine what's going on in there can you hear that but emeralds won't stand up to that they need to be treated with care they're a delicate flower but they are absolutely stunning 
They're an amazing ring to wear as a dress ring. And look absolutely beautiful on a night out, wouldn't they? That gorgeous emerald there. And of course, although they need a little bit more care and attention, don't save them for best. If you've got an emerald in your collection, we don't save anything for best. Do you, Sparklies? We don't save anything for best because best is every day. I think the I think we've chatted about this before. I think the thing with best is that the occasion that you're going to wear the piece for gets bigger and bigger. So you think, well, I'll save this for best. And then the occasion comes and you think, mm, is that occasion special enough? So you think, no, no, I won't wear it or use the perfume or wear the hat or the shoes, whatever. And so that occasion goes by and then another occasion comes and you think, well, this must be best. And then you think, mm, is it though, really? And you don't. And that's the thing. The occasion just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And you've got this beautiful ring, hat, dress, whatever. And it doesn't get worn. And that's not the point. And it's certainly not the point of jewellery. I am a huge advocate of wearing your jewellery. Make sure... Yeah, that you get dressed up whenever you can. And it, you can make every day a special occasion. You know that sometimes when I'm watching um, Strictly is a really good example. It's a great time to just put on your jewellery. Just to sit and watch Strictly. Why not? Get that jewellery worn. Definitely. So that is the Art Deco style. We've got the Emerald of 60 points in there and the diamonds of 22 points in there, and 2,730 pounds this one, 2,730. She's a size L, L for lovely, but we can make that to your size, so don't worry about that. Now sometimes we'll adjust the ring, so if you need it, if you're an N for example, we can make a little adjustment, but if you need a big size change, so I um, adjusted a ring recently from, Oh gosh, she was tiny. So she, I think she was a K, the ring. Um, and the size she went up to was a V or something like that. So there was a big difference. And in that sense, we just replaced the shank. So the band of the ring from either from here to here, from the shoulders, uh, a nice three quarter or you pop a new half shank on and easily done. So don't worry about that. We can do that. No problem at all. There we are. And then the next ring I'm going to show you, let me show you the Princess Emerald. She is absolutely beautiful. Now I've just created this ring, well just a little while ago, earlier in the year I think, um, all in diamonds for one of my lovely sparklies. So she wanted to know if we could swap that emerald out and have that as a diamond, which we could. So we created that in diamonds for her. But the contrast in this ring, especially with the colour of the emerald, is absolutely superb. Tara says, hi, Sparkly's late again. Tara, a queen is never late, just sometimes her subjects arrive early. Uh, Tara says, love Art Deco and emeralds and diamonds. Me too. Gorgeous, gorgeous combination. And Wendy says, I totally agree. Thanks, Wendy. Linda says, only my opals. Yeah, definitely. Opals, again, they're a very delicate flower, aren't they? So you do right. Just treat them with that good care and attention. That's a good idea. Uh, Linda says, I used to be an L for Linda. Me too. Uh, but now several sizes larger. Age catching up on me. It comes to us all. And I haven't found a good alternative yet. That's, <laughs> that's the problem. And I always say I don't mind my fingers. It's when my bottom gets bigger that I get a little bit grumpy. Wendy says, I love that style of ring. Do you ever have zircon rings? Yes, um, I have had zircon before occasionally. Uh, when we go out to the uh, see some designers, I've had designers that work in zircon. So yes, worth keeping an eye out. Um, Joe says, oh, bless you. Oh, thank you, Joe. But I can come next Saturday instead whichever is better for you if you prefer to come on the monday you just text me or message me <laughs> that's how you message <laughs> just yeah send me a message here on facebook we can sort that out for you yeah either way i'll look forward to seeing you and uh yeah it's a gorgeous gorgeous again the art deco feel to this one we're always swayed by a little bit of art deco so when we're choosing the rings that does feature heavily now these ones are a princess cut so princess cut diamonds and a princess cut emerald in the center 18 karat white gold again there again if you wanted that in 18 karat yellow gold i could do that for you so we could pop a yellow gold band on there for you 
but I would probably, unless you absolutely really, really, really wanted to, I would keep the setting white. I tend to do that with the majority of our rings, just because a lot of the time it will make your diamonds look whiter, whiter and brighter. So we tend to set in that white gold setting. You'll see that often as well with the antique rings and the vintage rings. You'll see that if they're in the yellow gold, often they've got a platinum setting and that's the reason. So it just makes our gemstones look nice and white and we get that clear bright white look which is what we want so in this one the emerald is 58 points and the diamonds are 77 points so that's in total so whatever half of 77 is is each side 35 36 37 38 points something like that's so just over a third of a carat each the diamonds in there uh, 77 points total diamond weight again that nice tapered band so nice and comfortable to wear a gorgeous claw setting so we're letting all of the light stream in and really light up that emerald so you get all the scintillation of that gemstone when you're wearing her on your finger absolutely beautiful beautiful that piece uh, Linda, it's a shame that rings don't come with a band that is movable to go over larger finger joints. Yeah, I have one. Not explained well. I'll have to bring it in to show you. We, it is something that I keep looking at and the, the technology behind it is getting better and better. Um, so it's it always, I like to make sure that the rings that we've got will last and last and last and last. And I haven't yet seen a ring from our designers that convinces me um that it would yeah that it would last and last but i am always on the lookout for it because honestly it's the golden goose isn't it a nice expanding more and more people are doing it now it's becoming more um mechanized is is no oh, i'm trying to find the right word um i'm always looking for a really solid nice solid setting and if something moves for me it's got to um it's got to last so that movement has got to always last i hope i'm explaining that well enough <laughs> but yeah i am with you with that i'm also um looking out for uh, chains that are similar in a similar way always the difficulties that we've got so um the difficulties that we often have with our bigger knuckles and then when the rings over we spin i'm always looking to overcome those so don't worry i'm always looking out for them uh linda says love the setting thank you linda but yeah if you have one bring it in show me that sounds lovely wendy says never realized that i have a yellow gold ring with a platinum setting yeah there you go interesting thank you laura always learn something oh that's lovely yes definitely um and that's why it really brings out that white of your gemstones Catherine says beautiful ring thank you Catherine. that's very lovely she's gorgeous isn't she love 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 her so that's our princess emerald ring so she is on our website now. I've been photographing these emeralds today, so I'm going to upload them. Um, she is on there. The two that I've just shown you, I think, are on there. Um, the two that I'm going to show you next aren't, but it's a matter of time. And I went through, so we've got um, a little space that I set up in the workshop to photograph. And I went through and photographed them all under this amazing light so it really brought out the sparkle in the emeralds but when i've uploaded them it's really not captured the color perfectly so i'm going to have to take some more photos in natural light outside so they'll go on there but they, the rings are on there now this is the most gorgeous pear-shaped diamond and i absolutely love the pear shape as you know if you've watched before this is a lighter green and got that beautiful sparkle to her again. Diamonds in the halo around the edge and diamonds in the shoulders as well on an 18 carat, no, I'm telling you a fib, this one's platinum, a platinum band on this one. Really lovely sparkle, all natural diamonds around the edge and on the band and a natural emerald as well, which I absolutely love, gorgeous color. And the nice thing about the pear drop or the droplet shape is that she really elongates your finger. So if you're thinking of something that you want to make your fingers look longer, 
then a pear shape is definitely the way to go. Just that point at the bottom really draws the eyes very clever. Now, I would wear a pear shape this way. I often get asked which is the right way. And the simple answer is there isn't one. It's whichever, whichever way suits you. Traditionally, with a pear shape, if you're wearing a pear shape for an engagement ring, if you wear the point facing in, as I am here, then it means that you're spoken for, your heart is taken. If you wear the point facing out, then it means that you're available. So that's broadly with the pear shape. But we're not going to force you to get on Tinder if, <laughs> if you wear your point facing up. It's a secret, very ancient language of rings. So you're not beholden to it. Don't worry. So if you want to wear your pear shape here in this, in this way, then you can. That's absolutely fine. Whichever suits you. Absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love this shape. Linda says, love the setting. Thank you, Linda. Gorgeous setting. Thank you. And Henny says, hi there. Hi to Henny. Happy Friday. It's lovely to have your company tonight. Wendy says, love the pear shape ring too. Thanks, Wendy. I love that shape. Gorgeous. And then the next one I'm going to show you, the emerald is a little bit darker. And we've, oh, I didn't tell you the anything about that ring, actually, did I? Sorry about that. Um, so the emerald in here is one carat. And the diamond total weight is 35 points, so just over a third of a carat. She's on platinum and she's £4,200, 4200 this one. And that gorgeous emerald there. And she's a size K, teeny tiny, but again, we can have her set so she will be perfect for your finger. So don't worry about that. Now, if you do need to have a ring sizer sent to you, then you can use our contact form to do that. You can just use the message um, ring sizer and then you just need to include your address, send that over to us. You can also message me on Messenger as well here. So do feel free to do that. Look at the halo on this ring. We've chosen a double halo here, a darker emerald. Now she's on 18 carat white gold, a smaller emerald in this one, 35 points for the emerald. So just over a third of a carat. And the total diamond weight is 34 points, so just over a third of a carat there as well. £2,875, this one, 2875 Love that one as well. Do you see what I mean about the darker emerald in there? So May Birthstone Emerald, and it's said to promote eloquence. So it's said to make you a better public speaker if you wear an emerald, which I think is a lovely, lovely... So I should be very eloquent this evening, shouldn't I? I shouldn't be jumbling any of my words if I'm wearing these emeralds. That's how it should work. They're also said to protect against snake bites. And as always, because we're on the internet, please do not try that at home. <laughs> it is a legend and a myth. So, you know, use your normal cautions when you're dealing with snake bites. Don't, don't just rub your emerald on it. I always have to say... <laughs> Put these little covenants in because, you know, the Internet is a weird and wonderful place. And there will be somebody that watches this and sees that in context and thinks, fantastic, I will give that a go. Please don't. But that's one of the legends about it. Ironic, of course, because Cleopatra died from a snake bite. Now, this ring we've named after Cleopatra. So this is our Cleopatra emerald and diamond ring. And of course, as I mentioned earlier, she owned an emerald mine in Egypt. It was discovered or rediscovered the lost mine of Cleopatra in the, gosh, in the 1800s, I think. But it was completely mined out. So no emeralds left there. But there were, she was a huge, huge emerald fan and a huge emerald advocate. In fact, visiting dignitaries when they visited Cleopatra and when they were leaving Egypt, she used to give them their effigy, if you like, carved from an emerald. She's just a wonderful way, isn't it, to say, thanks for the visit. Here's your face in an emerald. I think that's a wonderful thing. And I can see why they captivated Cleopatra as well, because they are captivating in their colour and in their sparkle and in their scintillation. They've got that gorgeous diamond. Oh, I've got somebody flying in to come and say hello. Hello. Who's being naughty? Would that be you? This is Moriarty. Is it Mori? Is it Mori? 
Hello. <laughs> Are you being naughty? He's always looking for his brother. Are you being naughty? Oh my goodness. Yeah, they've been uh, they've been scrapping tonight. So I don't know if you remember, but when they have their arguments, um, his thing that he learned from his mum, Moriarty, is to grab hold of Heathcliff's leg. So that's what he does. And he grabs Heathcliff's leg and Heathcliff kind of runs along on three legs for a little while. And that's what they've been doing tonight. So that's what all the barking is about. My animal handler there, Mr. Sparkles. He loves that name. <laughs> and this is one of Mr. Sparkles' choice for the emeralds as well. Gorgeous deep colour emeralds. 18 karat yellow gold here. So going back to what we said earlier, the 18 karat yellow gold there, the white gold in the setting to make those diamonds really sparkle. The Art Deco feel in there as well. So round, brilliant diamonds and a baguette to either side. I nearly said a tapered baguette, but they're not really there. A baguette, a baguette. This, the emerald in this ring is absolutely superb absolutely gorgeous she is uh oh i'm just reading upside down let me tell you in one moment she's just over a carrot so she's a carrot and 13 and she's got around 40 points of diamonds in there so on just under half a carrot of diamonds in there on 18 carat yellow gold she is four thousand eight hundred and seventy five pounds four eight seven five and she's a size K for king and a half. But again, she can be your size with no problem whatsoever. Linda says, sending love to the puppies. Thank you, Linda. Yeah, they're outside in the garden now. That's one of the nice things about the weather being a little bit warmer is that we can leave the, the kitchen door open so they can run in and out and barrel down the garden and barrel into the house. And yeah, and uh, but hello, that's Heathcliff just pottering past and Maury you know the song me and my shadow that's definitely there Maury's definitely the shadow so that's the gorgeous Cleopatra wow. emerald ring that we've got there are we having Friday night naughties or we're having a drink can you hear them <laughs> so food Moriarty will not share will not share his food at all he's not bothered he's fine um, but water, they have to drink out of the same bowl. It's very strange. It's like a, a pack thing. I'm sure they're quite like, it's making me want to drink now. I'm going to have a drink, not from the same bowl. Cheers. Hello. Yes, I'm having a drink as well now. <laughs> Has that made you cough? Thank you for that. That was super glamorous, thank you. Oh dear. So I think I've just got time. Wendy says, beautiful emeralds in that ring. Thank you, Wendy, it's lovely, thank you. Wendy says, Moriarty is very cute. Mori, Wendy says you're very cute. He's happy about that, his little tail's like that wagging. And he's just come to sit next to me. Yes, be gone. Naughty puppies. Friday night naughties. Let me show you um, just a couple of the Art Deco style emerald rings that I think would sit nicely with these Art Deco style diamond rings. I'm sorry, did I say emerald? So just to give you an idea, just to build up that Art Deco look. I think they're fabulous. Let's try that one with a flatter profile. Let's put Cleopatra back in there and try one of the decos. See so something like that. I might actually go for something a bit smaller if I was building those up and choose something like that. We might be able to get those on there. There. Do you see? just to add that sparkly tiara to the top of the ring. Now all the vintage style rings are on our ring creator. So you can have a look at those available in lots of different metals. So white gold, palladium, platinum, yellow gold, rose gold with those diamonds in there as well. Just beautiful. 
and that's my show for tonight i hope you've enjoyed it i've been really enjoyed showing you my emeralds it's been great fun tonight well adam's emeralds actually the majority of these are, uh, are picks by mr sparkles because he loves them i hope you've enjoyed it and it's a little bit of an intro into the may birthstone as well so i think it's fascinating i love all the history and legends uh becky says oh would something like that sit with queenie oh yes mm, maybe that one would sit with queenie or maybe that one I think the narrower might fit better because she's slightly rounded as well. She's a court shape. Oh, ooh, exciting. Come and try them on. Yeah, I think they'd look really nice. And we can create those in yellow gold as well. So although Queenie's setting is white gold, she's yellow gold band, isn't she? I think from memory. But yeah, come in. We'll try them on. <laughs> we'll have a great time. Is Scott watching? He'll ban us, won't he? Becky says, may have to try on. Yeah, I think you should. Come in. Come and try them on. Linda says, really enjoyed the show. Thank you, Linda. Kathleen said, love the rings tonight. Thank you. And Wendy says, ah, oh, he's lovely. Georgina says, they look fab together. Thank you. And Linda says, Archie will not share food. All teeth and fur if another dog approaches. Yeah, that sounds like Maury. Heathy can't even be in the same room. Although, you know, Heathy's just very, very chill. Oh, Scott is watching. Oh, we're... <laughs> <laughs> I would say we're in trouble, but Scott, I know that you're a jewellery buyer. You're a very bad influence. <laughs> and Becky says, of course he's watching, yes. Wendy says, love the show and learnt a lot. Oh, fabulous, lovely. I'm so glad that you could join me tonight. I do love our Friday nights together. We'll be open at dawn tomorrow on Saturday, so 10 until 5. So do come and have a little browse with us then. And this whole show will be over on... Um, forgot where it's going over on youtube tomorrow saturday morning um so if you've got a friend that would love the show but isn't on facebook then you can direct them over to our youtube channel and they can watch over there and have a good fun enjoy your weekend your long weekend whatever you're up to i'm sending lots of love from my home to yours and remember until next we meet say it with me eat sleep sparkle repeat and I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Happy weekend. Bye.